Jimmy Dare, 4352, turn left, heading 260, maintain 170 knots or greater. Left turn 260, 170 knots or greater, committed 4352. Left turn 2801, number 51, runway 16 left. We're looking forward to that. 11,000. You can plan uh, one, two left of Rocky Mount Metro. Uh, information Bravo. Big south with two left. Two meter 4338. Zero approach off the window 3025. Expect to take approach runway 17 right. Uh, two five and one seven right. Two meter 4338. United 1029. Contact approach one two three. 45. You down to 11, correct? A affirmative, we're out of uh, 13,000 for uh, 11 now, descending via, and 123.85, United 1029. Denver Sky 4634, 20.3 descending via the ski. Sky 4634, Denver approach, up to the 3025, a 60 visual approach, only one. Six left of permission, kilo current. We have kilo, expect one six left, Sky 4634. United 2292, turn right, heading 145, visual approach, only one six left. 145 to intercept, clear division 16 left, United 2292. At 1029, different approach, expect to visit approach 216 left. 16 left. Approach, uh, good afternoon, United 555, uh, 15,000 descending via the flight E3. 555, different approach, expect to visit approach 216 left, maintain 210 out to greater. 210 or greater, expect to visit 16 left, United 555. United 555, flighting 120, descend, maintain 10,000. Okay, 120, uh, descend 10,000, United 555. Pass the data to Jewel, pass the Denver Tower, 133.3, good day. 333, uh, 1702, Jewel, committed, 1243. Chopper 1244, turn left, heading 260, maintain 170 knots for greater. Alright, left turn heading at 260, 107 knots for greater, so 1244. Four, and stop it at 11,000, 11,000. Sending, uh, 11,000, 179, Denver approach, good afternoon. United 15, 15, descend and maintain the 7,000. Uh, 7,000, 15, 15. So, uh, yeah, we're descending via the zombies, but uh, we need to rejoin at an altitude. Uh, number 528, Mike X ray, Devore approach, turn left heading 060, vector final, descend and maintain 11,000. Descend and maintain 11,000, heading 060, vector for final, 528, Mike X ray. VOR, that's DJ. Uh, for the visual approach to 3-5 right, and verify you have Zulu. I do have Zulu, 528 Mike X-ray, and visual for 3-5 uh, right, 528 Mike X-ray. Okay, Mike X-ray, turn left heading 030, so 30 on the heading, and contact approach 132.75, good day. 13275, heading 030, 528 Mike X-ray. Right localizer to the airport's 9 o'clock, 9 miles. Heading at 200, it says uh, 17 right localizer field site, so 1244. So the 1244, Pacific approach, runway 17 right, maintain 170 knots or greater jewel. 17 knots or greater jewel, and it's at uh, quick visual, 17 right, uh, so 1244. United 1515, reduce speed to 170. 170, United 1515. It's goes 4650. 555, turn right, 145, and maintain 900,000. Right, uh, 5, 9, 000, 9, 5, 5. Yeah, 58, yeah. yeah. Got a 618, cross quickie at 210, knots, and contact approach 120.8. 20.8, quickie at 210, United 658. Keep 4 miles there, maneuvering 900,000, indicated type unknown. Then, uh, via the ski 3. South of 1458, Denver, Roger. United 1029, turn right, heading 080, maintain 170 knots or greater. All right, right, 170, 170 or better, uh, we'll call United 1029. All right, 1029, turn right, heading 080. Right, 080, that makes more sense, United uh, 1029. Southwest 2275, to maintain 8,000. 8,000, Southwest 2275. United 555, reduce to the 210. Find a 210, United 555. Guys, 4650, contact tower on 135.3. 353, 4650, see ya. Yeah. Reported it, I said 8,000. 
descending via the Clash 4. Yeah, 313, Denver approach. Good afternoon. United 1515, maintain 170 knots to Jewel. Contact Denver Tower, 133.3. Good day. 170 Jewel, 333, United 1515. 1029, maintain 7000. Found a 7000 with the field site, United 1029. 555 airport, 12 o'clock and uh, one nine miles. This type United 555. The 555, Blue Vision 416 left. Blue Vision 16 left, United 555. Approach, good afternoon, Sky 5787. 12700 descending via the C3. Sky 5787, different approach, respect to Vision 416 left. 16 left, Sky 5787. With Kilo. Hello, 294, different approach, off the Red 3025. Use the RNAV Zulu, runway 27 right. We'll set up for the RNAV Zulu 17 right, Southwest 294. Okay. 1029, maintain 17 Grenada or greater to lead. Wilco 170 or better, United 1029. Approach 2801, we're near 15, descend of either flight. Alpha 2801, never approach, expect to visit approach 216 left. Alpha 2801, reduce you to 210, then descend to maintain 9000. Sending via the next three information kilo. Center 456, if we're approach up to what 3025, I see the visual approach will be 17 right. 3025, 17 right, United 456. United 618, the center maintain 7000. 618, is at 11, 7000. Meter 4338, Denver approach, good afternoon. Frontier 5699, maintain 170 knots to Jewel, contact Denver Tower 133.3, good day. 178 Jewel, over Tower 3333, Frontier 5699. 5787, reduce to 210, then descend to maintain 8000. 0210, did descend to maintain 8000, Scott, 2275, reduce you to Denver approach, flex at 431s out of 14.3, descending via the Don uh, with Bravo at Metro. Flex at 431, Denver approach, maintain 14,000 for traffic and expect a vector to final visual approach, only one two left. Okay, maintain 14,000 and uh, we will uh, expect visual one two left, flex at 431. Flight 986, 12, 8, uh, descent via the T-bar, 210 at Cliff. Frontier 986, Denver approach, expect to visit approximately 1, 6 left. 1, 6 left, Frontier Flight 986. Alpha 2275, maintain 1, 7, 0, knots until Elite. 97 to Elite, Southwest 2275. Sky West, 5787, reduce you to 1, 9, or 0. Uh, slow to 1, 9, or 0, Sky, 6787. Alpha 2801, airport 1 o'clock, 27 miles. It's 2801. Alpha 2801, turn rate 1, 4, 5, Cliff is approximately 1, 6 left. Denver Tower, 133.3, good day. 33.3, or better, till dual United 618. 1458, turn right, heading 145, clear visual 16 left. Right turn, 145, clear visual 16 left, southwest 1458. 2801, reduce you to 190. Going to 190, southwest 2801. 0-8-0, the center maintains 7,000, it's got a 5787. 1-7 right, visual, thanks. 1-7-7, maintain 2-8 or not still greater, until advised. 2-8 or better, Frontier 7 6 Skyway 40, 634, contact approach 123.85. 24, 6 left, Skyway 40, 634. 1-7-0, not still greater. 
170 knots or greater, United 313. Uh, student Solo. 6 Echo, squad 0461. 0461 736 Echo. Calling Denver Departure, what was the call sign request? Clock in 10 miles, turn left, turn 200, intercept 17 right, localizing. 200 to intercept to 17 right, we're visual at the runway, 313. Yeah, 313, clear visual approach, runway 17 right, maintain 170 knots or greater to Jewel. 17 knots or greater to Jewel, cleared the visual 17 right, at 313. Sky 4734, turn left, heading 260. I've had 260, Sky 4734. United 313, contact tower 133.3, good day. 132 to cell 3, United 313, good day. Jason, right of course approved, when able, fly heading 100, and advise. Right, deviation approved, and we'll let you know, and then we'll come back to 100. Got 5527, descend and maintain 13000. Southwest 4907, contact approach 120. Good day. 2888, to confirm Southwest 4907. Southwest 2907, 120.8. 120.8, Southwest 4907. Southwest 1458, coming to Midtown 135.3. Uh, 353, Southwest 1458. Approach, yeah, we have one long parachute jumping, commencing one minute, one zero thousand. Sky 5527, final visual approach, one six left. All right, we'll find one six left, that's six five five. Three thirteen thousand, slowing to two five zero knots aside, and we have QL. Sky was forty six forty eight, approach approach, 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 4648. So it's 4648, Roger. Now I'm making 280 knots. Alright, now it's 280 knots, guy. It's 4648. Record point blow. Black jet 599, never departure, Roger. ATF from record 2436. Sorry, take it. ATF fire, sir, from record 2436. Yeah, uh, record 2436. Climb and maintain plotable 230. Climb and maintain 230 from record 2436. Southwest 362, kind of Denver Center 128.37, good day. 2837, good day, Southwest 362. Flex at 599, climb and maintain, follow 230. Climb maintain 230, flex at 599. Every departure holds code 5039, 6600, climbing 10,178. Skywest 5039, every departure out of contact. Not 1826, then approach, Captain. Southwest Alrighty guys, we're going to do a little <clears throat> FedEx action again. been really enjoying this plane, but I haven't flown it since last time I streamed it, so I'm still new to it. Um, I believe I've already changed to Seattle, yeah. So we're going to do a Seattle to Spokane flight. Do two thirty three point one. And we'll see how this looks 
235, 29 is our wins. Let me see that's changed since two, yeah, it's changed a little bit. 235 at 29 knots. That's the average wins for our cruise. Man, this plane's been loading for like 10 minutes. Um, 233, 1 is our 0. 233, 1. 26.6 is our fuel. Payload is 47.6. All right, 233, 1, 26, 6, departure out of Seattle is 3008. And they're departing south. And that's with information Foxtrot. Spokane's landing on T1. Guess my plane loaded. Um, Alright, so we're going to do CBDLC. So I'll come down here. We'll do Pot Edge, FedEx, A346, Lima, CBDLC. We're heavy. Because it's CPDLC or PDC, so Paladin uses CPDLC. So Zadon, Zilag, Siren, Zoomer, Zoomer 1 arrival. Get that on file. So we're parked over here at Cargo 3. So we'll get a quick taxi to 1 6 left. And then we'll do the Seattle 8 departure, which is just intercepting this radial outbound for vectors, uh, vectors to Zadon. And I usually have this on my laptop, so I have the frequencies. They're very easy to find this way. So um, the airport chart's a little harder. And then we'll do the Zoomer 1 from Moses Lake VOR to Zoomer, because at Zoomer I'm going to request an approach, which would be this RNAV from Zoomer. This plane should be able to do it. That's one of the other reasons I want to do this flight. I want to see if I can do this tight RMP approach. Um, otherwise, we can always circle back for this ILS if we need to, plus the wind, uh, the weather should be okay. To, this is a Cat 3 auto land if we need it, but this RMP has pretty low minimums, 300 minimums. And Spokane's weather is just a few clouds, light wind, so no problemo. And Seattle's just scattered clouds, nothing major to concern ourselves with. Not much weather, a little cloudy, no clouds to speak of, no ice to worry about. All right. All right, let me uh, get this switched over. Connected to Pilot Edge. Go full screen studio, and this should pop up. Seven Lima, how you doing there, buddy? Long time no see. Yeah, you said, last time I heard from you, you said you weren't doing that much flying, just real world summer stuff coming up. Um, let me transition this now. Have you flown at all in the uh, SimVenture stuff? 
I know they've only had one night so far. You doing some venture today? Yeah, I am too. So you'll probably hear me. Um, uh, you'll probably hear me on the radio around. Um, what time was I going to start? Around six, so seven Eastern, I think, was roughly the time I'm going to try it out tonight. I'm, st I'm probably going to use X Plane because I've been having some issues with the smaller planes that Microsoft just bouncing around even with clear weather like I don't understand the issue with that why it's why it's even a thing but apparently it's a thing I mean the Microsoft looks so good but the flight model is just weird I, I even I loaded Microsoft because I was curious if I was on the modern uh, the modern one plate model or the le legacy and it's on modern so I shouldn't be having that so I, I think for whatever reason it's it's uh, doing the thermals and stuff like that even with and I have it clear skies it's just annoying Not yesterday, I had to do a, re, a fresh install of XP11. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to do a fresh install unless you're just like, if you, you know, had to buy a new hard drive or if you don't want to transfer it, all that stuff or whatever. But all you really need to do is delete your preferences, all the contents of your preferences folders, and then that will restore your X plane to you know a default so you shouldn't have to do that in the future um, just in case you didn't you were unaware Actually, adjust the seat on this. <laughs> it doesn't actually move my physical seating position. That would be uh, a lot more useful. I haven't touched XP11 in a long time, and something went corrupt and couldn't figure out what it was wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the only time. The only thing that would it be would be like an old plugin. So I guess in your shoes I would have done the same thing. Um, but I pretty much run XP as you know, not a whole lot of stuff installed. I keep everything in a storage folder and only drag and drop to stuff I want just because it reduces errors in my experience. Um, but is it, it so are you going to be using XP or MSFS for uh, SimVenture? Like, what's your plan on that? I know the people that are talking about XP are just getting really good performance. In the SimVenture, people are getting stutters. So I think I'm just probably going to end up doing XP. The scenery is really nice. It's like five and a half gigs for XP. It's not as pretty as Microsoft, but at least the airplanes fly right. At least in my opinion, they fly better. All right, so let's do... D8 was 3008. Portland ground, 10 force 3170. 
Eight, request pushback. Cat Force 3170, Portland Ground, you get pushing back on a tango. Affirmative, Cat Force 3170. Cat Force 3170, push 19. on the tango, approve, face west. Nine, okay. Face west on tango, Cat Force 3170. Got 18 quarts of oil. Hydro is full. We got external power. Doing good there. Let's get some. Um, Get the APU going. I tried isolate isolating sceneries and plugins individually and said screw it, fresh install. You're doing XP. Yeah, I mean, you're probably going to, I mean, that's the way I'm looking at it. Yeah, Microsoft looks better. The scenery looks better. But everything else sucks. The sound, the client, like the radio client is nowhere near as good. The X-Plane client allows, they just uh, updated the client, which I have not updated yet. I need to do that after this flight. But the uh, they updated it. So if you download the latest plugin for X-Plane, which you probably did for Pottage, um, you're going to get TCAS even within AV, uh, AV tab from what I understand. So I know the performance is better, the sound is better, the airplanes handle better. So the only downside is the scenery is not as good. But when everything else is better, I'd rather, you know, if you're going by a scale, X-Plane is just overall better. Now, the only thing I did notice in my little tests when I loaded in last night was, uh, oh, you know what? I'll probably help turn a bleed on. There we go. My little test last night was, uh, like some of the airplanes that were taxiing was really smooth, but some of the Microsoft, from what I understand, the Microsoft guys their airplanes were doing like wheelies and stuff it was weird now that might also be because i'm still running an old client so i'm like i said i'm going to update the client give that a try tonight see if that makes any difference all right now we got apu Move. Can remove those. Walker 671, the Vernal, altimeter 3031. All right, so ATIS is 18. Zero. Yes, approach is different. Actually, I don't need that yet. We're going to do. Uh, CBDLC. I know the elevation, Seattle's 430, so we're within 70, so we're fine there. Portland ground, Camp 4, 3170 on Tango, information November. I'll request taxi ISR. Taxi ISR, 
Um, let's do CPDLC, so... Can Force 3170, Portland ground. Runway 10 right. Taxi via Tango, Bravo 5, Bravo. Cross runway 21 at Bravo. Can Force 3170, we'll taxi to runway 10 right via Tango, Bravo 5, Bravo. Cross runway 21 at Bravo. Eagle Tower. 108 Papa Tango, uh, request straight in for 25. Have x ray. Aircraft yeah, calling Eagle Tower, I need you to give me your uh, position. Uh, we are just on the. We are circling outside of D, just requesting straight in. If we were over AWAC, we're just uh, lined up for 25. Charlie. to Zlac. Okay. Yeah, Seattle six. I need a position from the airport. It's actually a Seattle eight. That's old nav data in their system. Um, yeah, we're about seven miles uh, to the east. Oh, so Zaydon. On the Papa Tango, make straight in the right. Okay. Two five, so four, three nine thousand. Report three mile final straight in for two. Two seven five, zero one, three, later. Uh, One twenty point. Four and it's walk three six three six. Um, so this should be Seattle eight. So I guess I could tell him, but who cares? Um, Zadon. Z oh, it is Zadon. Okay, so we'll do the full route. Zadon, Zilak, Zyren. Zoomer, Zoomer, one, Spokane. Uh, we'll accept that, even though we're doing the Seattle 8, but there's no difference in the actual procedure. So, good there. Thirty-six, thirty-six. Eagle Tower, one zero eight, Papa Tango, three miles out. Final for two five. One zero eight, Papa Tango, wind calm, runway two five, clear to land. Clear to land, two five, one zero eight, Papa Tango. All right. Bring up my uh, software for the FMS. We'll get this banged out. All right, so we've got 2702 is, I mean, 07, is that the current? Now our graph is 2207, so we are current. So we're gonna go in it, and we're gonna do in it request, which will load everything, I think. Should bring over everything to include. Evil three four Seattle Center. Fuel and everything we need. Evil three four on the quest demo. And the ground temperature is nineteen. And the tropa. Tropa is 4, 11. I'll leave that the way it is, that's fine. Temperature is fine. So that should have loaded 26.6 uh, fuel, which it did. So the only issue is the uh, the auto land is wrong. It's zero when you do it this way. It's broken. So 
what I like to do is first bring in the flight plan and then reset it. Eagle ground, Windsor 8, Papa Tango on half of four, lights taxi back to the So I use that to load the plane and then I Windsor reset Pop it. Windsur 8, Papa Tango, parking via Alpha, remain this frequency. So we're going to do taxi 440, alpha, remain the frequency, tax. Windsor 8, Papa Tango. Walker 671, contact Denver Center, 120.47. See, Portland by Tower, redoing that, at runway it right. changed the Ready auto to, to the Walker current altitude, but my weight balance is still the same. Um, Can't for 3170, Portland Tower, runway 108, clear for takeoff, 1306. Clear takeoff, 108, Can't for 3170. That's good. So we're going to go flight plan, depart 16 left on the uh, Seattle 8, not the 7. And we'll insert that. And then we're going to punch in. See, that's where it would have come in handy if that other part worked. Eagle 34, Seattle Center Clearance available, buzzer is coming. Zadon, Z A D O N. 340, put a VF from airport as file. On departure, maintain 8000. Departure frequency was Chinook approach 128.75. Squawk 5247. Z. Hold for release. E L A K. Z I. Z I. Ran. Evil 3 4, read that correct. Hold to release. Advise this frequency number one, holding short, ready for departure. And then we're going to do Spokane, RNAV 2 1. RNAV Zulu 2 1. Zoomer 1. Uh, via Zoomer from Moses Lake. Can 4170, connect departure. Departure, can 4170, good day. So after Zoomer, should be Wagney. Alright, that looks good. Go in it. H2. Departure, can 4170 through 2400 on the Lava 6. Air Force 3170, Portland departure radar contact, climb and maintain 15,000. Climb and maintain 15,000, uh, Air Force 3170. So we got 233. EO34 again, advise this frequency number one, holding short, ready for departure. 249. Lock fuels 26. Five. Okay. Then we'll do perp. And Seattle's four, so that would be um, Thousand. Two ten and MDA is two five six nine for the RNAV. And we're going to do 
Seattle, one six left. And we're going to, so this should, this should work. I just noticed you got the A340. Yeah, yeah, this is the A340. This is only my, uh, like, third flight with it, maybe fourth flight. I'm really enjoying it. This is my new, uh, my new heavy for FedEx. I downloaded this custom uh, livery for it. It looks really nice. Canforce 3170, contact Seattle Center 121.4. So we're going to do an uplink takeoff data. Take off data request. Been a while since I've done this. Camp North 3170, Seattle Center, climate maintain level 230. So we're going to do, is it 2.9? Yeah, so it does do it right. So we're going to do 2, 2.9, whoops. 2.9, apparently it doesn't like that. Oh wait. Let's do two. Why is it doing that? Wait a second. Do two. Two point nine. Let's see if I can force it to do this two. Flaps two. Nope, it's being a pain in the butt. All right, the wind's 230 at 6. Yeah, 4 Seattle Center, climb and maintain, level 390. Oh, you know what, I can change it on the other way, so... But the VR is changing. You know, 34 Seattle Center release for departure clearance void, not off by 1900, at time now 1852, change to advisory frequency is approved, report airborne on course. Alright, this is pissing me off, so I'm just going to do it this way. I don't know why it's giving me such ridiculous...
53 and 160. Apparently that other thing doesn't work very well, so. 69 is our flex. Okay. Eagle 3, for Seattle Center, you should be on departure for Edmonton, it's Chinook now, 128.75. Eagle 3, for Seattle Center, you should be on departure for Edmonton, it's Chinook now, 128.75. Eagle 3, for Seattle Center, you should be on departure for Edmonton, it's Chinook now, 128.75. Eagle 3, for Seattle Center, you should be on departure for Edmonton, it's Chinook now, 128.75. We're doing 27,000. Let's start that. On our way now. Evil 3 4 Chinook approach. Round the cockpit, plan acknowledged. Call us to the menu when you're ready to go. Round the cockpit, the toes driving up now. Evil 3 4, you transmit in Seattle Center. Your instruction was departure frequency 128.75. Contact Chinook approach 128.75. Check approach, Evil 34, level 8000 on course. Evil 34, Chinook approach, I dent. Evil 34 is radar contact 1 2 miles west of the Walla Walla VOR. Proceed on course. Evil mm. 34, proceed on course, thank you. All doors and hatches are closed, we're connecting now. Nine or thousand. Thirty-six, thirty-six. Does connected and bypass pins inserted. Release the brakes. And we'll do a beacon light. Okay, push is commencing. Go ahead and start the engines. Do 
to ignition. We're gonna crank on engine four here. Normally, I would do a uh, two-engine taxi, but because we're only taxiing a very short distance, I'm going to start them all up. Because these engines do take a couple seconds to start. Okay, there goes engine four. We can start engine three. You can start two engines at a time. I like to wait till the first one lights off before I start the second one. And they say for a taxi, you're supposed to taxi uh, number one and number four if you're just going to do a two engine taxi. Something to do with the uh, hydraulic systems. It's the blue ones that being used. Operations complete. Set the brakes. Can force Those two good engines. Let's start engine two. I've got the engines set up to my Bravo switches. It's the only plane I do that with. Usually I just flip them with the mouse, but. Just disconnected and bypass pins removed. Signals on the left. Have a good one. All right, once this lights off, which will be any second now, then we'll start engine one. All right, we got a light off. Start engine one. This thing will trim automatically. To almost three up. So you don't have to worry about that, which is kind of cool. All right, all four engines are good. Do normal and we'll do flaps two for takeoff. Check. Spoiler check. Arm nose. And we'll turn on that and that. And we should have good generators. Turn off the bleed and that. Lose technical words I'm using. Control, speed brake, uh, taxi lights are those two. And we do a cool taxi camera here. We got the taxi cam, like the nanny cam, I guess. It does add a little stuttering, so I'm probably not going to use it, but I wanted to show you that it's there prefer it without it. It's kind of grainy. It doesn't work at night either. So yeah. 
Seattle Tacoma International Airport. A disinformation foxtrot. 1753 Zulu. Wind 210 at 6. Visibility 10. Few clouds at 1500. Few clouds at 1 2000. 2 5000 scattered. Temperature 1 niner. Dew point 10. Altimeter 3008. Arriving and departing runways 16 center. 16 left. 16 right. Visual approach is in use. ILS runway 16 center, runway 16 left, and runway 16 right approach use. Simultaneous approaches to parallel runways in use. Simultaneous approaches in use between Seattle and Boeing Field. Traffic below you on final. VFR departures contact clearance delivery, advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information Foxtrot. Go to Foxtrot, do on a break. Takeoff config check is normal. Do a little differential uh, throttle here. Just using the left side to get us turning. It's nice to have a Bravo quadrant. You can use whichever ones you want, or even one. Afternoon, Seattle ground, FedEx 3650 heavy, cargo ramp 3 with Foxtrot ready taxi. FedEx 3650 heavy, Seattle ground, runway 16 left taxi via Alpha. 16 left via Alpha, FedEx 3650 heavy. Switch to 19.9 and 124. Seattle Tower, FedEx 3650 heavy, holding short, 16 left. 3650 heavy, Seattle Tower, 12206, runway 16 left, clear for takeoff. 16 left, clear for takeoff, FedEx 
Over to departure of FedEx 3650 heavy to 120.4 Delta 3650 Delta departure of FedEx 3650 heavy Seattle 8 leaving 2100 for 9000 FedEx 3650 heavy Seattle departure to contact number maintain 15000 I maintain 15000 FedEx 3650 heavy This at uh, 210 for the initial climb because you climb the best. Clear direct, or left turn direct to Zaydon on course, back 3650. when you take off, but then it gets a little overpowering. Flaps out. You can undo the spoilers. Packs are on, gear is up, spoilers are unarmed. There's, three, four, you appear to be there's three and a half no miles icing south, to worry um, about. Course, tracking away. Turn right heading 290, join Victor 204, of course. Join the Victor 204 on course. Lights off. Usually I have three four contact Chinook approach one two three point eight zoomer. And let me do this here. So we're gonna do one eight zero one nine zero on the climb for now. Chinook approach evil three four inbound for twenty two miles out from the Yakima VOR. Request vectors to final four uh, runway two seven. Evil 3 4 Chinook approach, good afternoon. Information Victor, current advice, you have that. The uh, Yakima altimeter 200, 902. Expect visual approach runway 27. Evil 3 4 2902. Respect visual approach runway 27. Medic 3650, heavy contact, Seattle Center 126.6. Seattle Center 126.6, Medic 3650, heavy. 26.6. Evil 3 4 flighting 270, descend to maintain 5000 vector visual approach. Give the floor, 270, descend and maintain. Seattle Center, FedEx 3650, 14,300, climbing 15,000. FedEx 3650, Seattle Center, climb and maintain level 230. Climb maintained by level 230, FedEx 3650.
with this, you gotta click and drag your mouse, which I kind of like. For the push-pull, you can click, drag down, or click, drag up. There is an option, though, you can change if you like the little arrows up and down, I think. Or the hands that are a little bit different, but I like the drag part. It works really well. Usually 12,000, so that 11,000 is fine. That'll give us a proper top of descent. Looks like we'll have about a five minute cruise, so all good there. Naval 3 4 descent, I maintain 4,300. The next 3650, contact Seattle Center 125.1. Seattle Center 125.1, FedEx 3650. might be a little bit different because we're still climbing. Seattle Center, FedEx 3650, flight level 211, climbing 230. FedEx 3650, Seattle Center, climb and maintain level 270. I maintain flight level 270, FedEx 3650. Alright, so now that will push that out a little bit. Airport, 12 o'clock, 1, 2 miles, report site. There we go. So now we have uh, a little bit, 23, let's top it, 18 to 23, so three, uh, yeah, five minute cruise, perfect, that's all I want, it's just five minutes of cruise, because the cruise is the boring three, part. Three, visual approach, runway 27, contact Yakima Tower, 133.25. Three, three, four, clear for the visual approach, runway 27. Air cargo. Three four runway two seven. We have made it to our cruise. to all and we'll 
probably get an altitude for Zoomer, but then about 10 miles prior to Zoomer, I'm going to request to pass on an approach to uh, Spokane approach because the initial approach fix is uh, Zoomer uh, if I want to do this. So I'm going to ask with the center when we get a little closer. And final approach fix altitude is 34. 34 exit right, one able taxi via Alpha Bravo to the ramp for maintenance frequency. Yeah, minimums. Twenty-five ninety-six. So we'll say twenty-six. Got to see the runway or lights or something by twenty-six hundred feet. MSL. Yeah, missed approach. Climb to five thousand. Track two two twelve to Iharoho. <laughs> And then the gangs. So Iharoho and gangs. Let's see here. Yep, all that is good. Let me get my uh, destination weather. D Atis is Spokane, which is 3002. Get voice ATIS as we get closer. 26 to make sure all this is still good. Wind 190. 7. And wind request. Alright. You're set up there. It's 5,000 for mist. Which is just straight out, looks like, to Ihero and then Gangs. That's only if I overshoot too much to where I have to pull out of the uh, approach and then we come back for the ILS or a visual. Yeah, Center, Camp Force 3170, back with you. Camp Force 3170, thanks. Here. I accidentally put in that transition, that's what happened. So I'm going to inch my way back over to being on track, do a little zigzag action here. Because I was looking at my, uh, the only reason I knew I messed up was I was looking at my laptop and I was starting to show off the flight path. I was like, why is that? It's because that Moses Lake should not have been in there. Let me check the powdage. Uh, 
map real fast. Make sure Moses Lake is not in the flight plan, which I don't really think it is. Zyran, direct to Zoomer, so yeah. I'm glad I caught that, because he would have been like, where are you going, dude? We all make mistakes. But I caught it before the ATC people did. All right, now I'm looking at my laptop. Looks like I am back on track. I could have done a radial in, but you know what? That would have been way more difficult than need be. Do a slant navigraph, as some people like to say. Yeah, 4170, contact Salt Lake Center, 128.72. 128.72, yeah, 4312. Back on track. Yeah, Zoomer is what, 12,000? 11,000? It's like we're a little bit above. Flight center, Camp 43170, flight level 390. Camp 43170, Salt Lake Center, descent palace discretion, maintain flight level 240. Send, uh, maintain flight level 240, my discretion, Camp 43170. FedEx 3650 to send to maintain for level 250. Send to maintain by level 250, FedEx 3650. Do altitude. So we're doing uh, open descent. And then when we get within 10 miles of zoomer, we'll request that RNAV RMP approach. We'll see if this big boy can do it. FedEx 3650, contact Seattle Center 132.6. Seattle Center 132.6, FedEx 3650. Tree 2.6. Seattle Center, FedEx 3650, level 255, descending 250. FedEx 3650, Seattle Center, cross Zoomer at maintain 11,000. The Spokane altimeter 3002. Cross Zoomer at maintain 11,000, 3002, FedEx 3650. Bring in a little bit of air brake so we get caught up. I just want this uh, little swirly thing to be before zoomer and we'll send our TCAS to below Balance back on for the crew. Take your seats. Uh, as a backup, the ILS is one 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 one. I'll leave that alone. I could manually put it in there. It would be there automatically if I had an ILS set, but I don't. All right, now the little squiggly line is uh, forward of Zoomer.
it is not as bad when it's not screaming in your ear. Weather injector, which is showing 3001. So we gotta go with what my injector is showing, which might be old. Yeah, it looks like it's old data. Spokane ATIS-124. Fuel clouds at 8,000. Fuel clouds at 11,000. Temperature 26. Dew point 10. Altimeter 3002. Arriving and departing runways to 126. Visual approaches in use. The FR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information alpha. Spokane International Airport. Eight is information alpha. One eight. Seattle Center, FedEx 3650. Current with Alpha at Spokane. I have an approach request to pass on the Spokane and the initial approach back to Zoomer. The uh, Arnav Zulu runway 21 approach from Zoomer, FedEx 3658. FedEx 3650, I have your request. I'll pass it along to him. Contact Spokane approach now 123.75. Spokane 123.75 FedEx 3650. Spokane approach FedEx 3650 heavy Zoomer 1 leaving 11600 for 11000 across Zoomer. Uh, current with Alpha uh, Arnav Zulu 21 approach from Zoomer. FedEx 3650 Heavy Spokane Approach, good afternoon, thanks for Alpha. Zoomer cleared Arnav Zulu, runway 21 approach. And Zoomer cleared Arnav Zulu, 21 approach, FedEx 3650 Heavy. <clears throat> Alright, so that is... Spokane Altimeter 3002. 3002, FedEx 3650 Heavy. It's 34. some lights. Check our perf here. 3022 at seven, all good. away. Go ahead and arm that. And we'll do auto break tree.
laps one. Spokane's tower. It's one three 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 five. That's gonna take forever. Three five. Olympia Tower, Evil 35, checking in to commence FN 6002. Evil 35, Olympia Tower, no need to check in. You can just proceed as uh, you would in the real world. Like that answer. Do flaps two. Olympia Tower, Evil 35, uh, request taxi runway 26 with Alpha. Evil 35, transmit tower, contact ground. Ground Evil 35, uh, request taxi to runway 26 with Alpha. Evil 35, Olympia Ground, you've got an IFR flight plan here, you haven't picked up yet, are you on that? I was going to uh, do a VFR departure, pick it up en route. Okay, not a problem, you just need to let us know that. Where are you parked? I am parked uh, on the ramp. I'm not exactly sure the exact spot. Not a problem, just let me know where you're on the airfield and give me a call back. Seven miles after Wagney, so I'll slow down to uh, let me see. Final leg is three miles after Wavix, so we'll do 170 until Wavix, and then final approach speed after that. Drop the gear at uh, Jimbo, Jim, Jimbo, 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 no, something like that. Traveling. Lines three. Three green, four green.
approach is 5,000. So after Wavix, we'll reset our MCP for 5,000 if we need to go miss for whatever reason. Brakes armed. Spoilers armed. Policy ground, Evil 3 Denver request taxi. Tower from is. The transient tie down, just off echo. 18. Evil 3 5, runway 17, taxi via echo, Bravo. 3. Evil 3 5, 17 via echo. 18. 3. Medic 36, heavy contact, Spokane Tower 118.3. Spokane Tower 118.3, Medic 36, 50 heavy. Switch to tower. Spokane Tower, FedEx 3650 Heavy, established on the RNAV, Zulu 21 approach. FedEx 3650 Heavy, Spokane Tower, wind 1807, runway 21, clear to land. Runway 21, clear to land, FedEx 3650 Heavy. Place your bets on landing rate. Right? I'm guessing under 300, but definitely above 200. Columbia ground, Evil 35, number one. Evil 35, no need to advise ground. It's an auto switch to tower. Just let them know you're ready to go. Flaps full. Passing Olympia through tower, Evil final 5, approach, one. fix altitude. So I want to through that. Olympia tower, southeast Change your MCP to uh, uh, missed approach. Evil 35, clear for takeoff, 17. Which is 5,000. Yeah, we are good. Got the field, so I'm just going to go ahead and release the uh, autopilot there. Fly her over. <clears throat> RNAV is just pretty much good to get you lined up. That's about it. Turn on the ILS for some extra. Well, it doesn't show unless you program it. That's right. Never mind. I should have programmed it. I'll make a note of that. The other Airbuses automatically have it in there. Hundred above. Got two red, two white. Minimum. One hundred. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, retard, ten, five. Evil three five, one able to block, BFR. Evil three five. Heavy, welcome to Spokane. Exit right, one able taxi via Alpha to the ramp, monitor ground point nine. Get in. Uh, right, Alpha to the ramp, monitor ground point nine, FX 3650 heavy. Thanks, we'll see. 21.9. 
it off the other one, the next one down. Olympia Tower, Evil 3, I would like to pick up uh, IFR flight plan. Evil 3, 5, Olympia Tower, I'm able, unable to issue you an IFR clearance, you need to contact departure. Hey, Zaku. Good day. How you doing, bud? Just in time for the landing. Well, I'll do a replay once I uh, sign offline. in that side there for sure. It does help to have the camera to get lined up on the parking. The taxiing to the runway, I haven't really needed it. We'll give ourselves some Chalks and some of those. Turn those on. Seattle departure, Evil 35, passing 9,900 for 17,000. Seattle departure. I have no information. Disconnected. All right. Disconnect from that. And my A cars shows 324. Oh, that's all right. Whatever. I've had worse landings. Not sure what happened there. Maybe their server's down. It was only 300 something. Oh well, I don't care. Um, Alright, so let's turn off. Okay there. All right, make sure we're offline. Can 
always do a manual pirate. Minimum. Good playing, guys. It's good playing. Well, thanks for watching the stream. If you're still there, Seven Lima, uh, have a good flight tonight on uh, Sim Venture. Maybe Sunday we can all get together if you'd like. If you're around for that, um, I'm just gonna go solo tonight. I'm fighting a little bit of a high headache, so we'll see. But you should hear me on the net, so um, we'll try it out. All right, guys. Have a good rest of your evening, and I'll catch you guys on my next stream. See ya. Chase out. Never approach, guys. 6292, 13 9, descend via ski 3, 250 knots. Let's go, 6292 to approach, cross cliff at 210 knots. Cross cliff at 210 knots, guys. 6292. I have 1074, send to maintain 8000. Send 8000, yeah, I have 1074. Skies 4634, do speed to 1900. 4190, Skies 4634. Speed to speed, 1010,000. Commuter 4338, the airport 10 o'clock, and 90 miles. We have the airport. Commuter 4338, turn left, heading 200, intercept the final, for this approach, only 17 right. Left, 200. From 8,000 for Skyway 4634. Skyway 4634, descend to maintain 7,000 now. 9 to 7, Skyway 4634. Or greater to Jewel, contact Denver Tower 133.3, good day. 33.3, thank you, Denver Tower 133.3, thank you. Heading 190, uh, vector uh, weather. Left 190, American 2436. Normal speed. 
Yeah, are you looking at it? You wanna, let's turn your left of it. American 2436, turn left, heading 170. Uh, American uh, 2436, uh, like uh, 165 heading. American 2436, heading 165, do not exceed 270 knots. 270 knots, 165 on the heading.